What's going on, family? Welcome back to Israx Movie Reviews. And today we're going to be going over Hereditary from back from 2018. One of the best horror films in the last 10 years, hands down. And it's hard to know where to begin to start praising something or a movie like this who, in which it does a lot of positive things. Um, there's a lot of positives with this movie. Um, Hereditary to me was incredibly well made. Um, it's a visual masterpiece in my mind. One of the most um, audacious and best looking films of that year or in recent years in general, even up to now. Um, the photography is both dreamlike and very nightmarish at the same time, which I enjoy thoroughly. Um, while, the while the film is, is um, slickly edited, you know, I love the, the way it started. Um, you know, I'm not gonna get into spoiler territory here because I do want you watching the film if you haven't seen it. But man, you know, atmospherically, um, it was beautifully lit. Um, the house where the movie takes place at, you could tell it was very spacious, um, very modern, but they took this take and they, they really flipped it upside down with a mix of, you know, like I said before, like an audacious and kind of ghoulish feel. Um, the house has its own character, which I loved and it's very endearing, you know, to use something like that as a character, right? Like we see old films and we see like New York and LA and in a lot of those old films, New York and LA are characters in those films. And, you know, comparing it with this one, just like the the background and the house and all that are characters in this film. And, um, you know, I have a lot of appreciate, a lot of appreciation for the, for the horror genre. I love it, you know, especially with this film. The music is haunting. It adds uh, this unnerving atmosphere and does some of the most effective um things in this film with the the sound editing and the design um of choice and i think it was the design of the year in that year 2018 you know never being obvious or cheap and providing uh, a lot of airiness which um you get throughout this film uh the writing flows pretty well and never becomes uh corny or overly wordy uh sometimes even thought provoking and particularly what they, you know, when they talk about grief and, and, and trauma, because there's a lot of that that goes on in this film. Uh, this is not just your horror film. You know, it's a deliberate slow burn, which I enjoy. And um, even though it was very deliberate, it wasn't dull at all. I think being a, a slow burn kind of helped the film enormously by uh, the atmosphere that they were able to depict and the near perfect balance of family drama, which was often very poignant. And it packs a powerful emotional punch and the horror as well in this, where there's not many other reliance on predictability or any of the horror tropes that you get in other movies with like cheap scare tactics and actually frightening and, and being suspenseful. You know, this movie has everything you want in a horror movie. In many ways, it's like I was waiting for this film. Um, it always is interesting in a lot of the scenes, seeing that the film debuts in, in, in such a way that it leaves you wanting more and more. Um, and there's some fun ones out there, right? Ari Aster, He's a, he's a remarkable director. I think he's, you know, one of the top uh, directors we have to date. And, you know, his directing is remarkable, remarkable. Uh, well accomplished with a fine eye for detail and his adeptness for how to uh, pace uh, such a movie. And, you know, characterization-wise, you know, Tony Collette, you know, hands down, I think she, she deserves an Oscar. She deserved an Oscar for this film. You know, Hereditary is quite the compelling 
movie in general, not just your horror movie. And there's a lot of real realism to this film. The performances to me were near perfect with Gabrielle Byrne occasionally slight underplaying, but generally it's one of the best performances in a while. Um, the star here is Tony Collette in a truly marvelous and often movie turning mix of, of grief, um, terror, um, Collette grieves with you know, pathos and conveys terror with intensity. Uh, I just love the way she acts. I could see anything that she's in. You know, Alex Wolf is another young actor who I enjoy thoroughly. And he's another standout for very similar reasons. You know, though Millie Shapiro is not to be neglected in this film also. She's a delight to see on that screen. She has this, this look and this thing about her that um, I think exudes star and we're gonna hear about her a lot in the future um it's a shame that the ending to me was kind of rushed and that plausibility loses its way at that point i think that's what um made this film from a really good movie a masterpiece to just below that um instead coming over as a silly and like the film kind of ran out of steam by the end um, but, you know, this to me was a, it, it was kind of a bit old fashioned time movie, you know, um, I love that, you know, within the two hours of this movie, we explore family tragedy, grief through characters coping, um, and struggling, you know, to say much of the film is to ruin it, but, you know, certain aspects of this are things that you, you gotta see. Um, and this movie has a big twist in, in the end. Um, it's Some it works for, some it doesn't. Um, for me, uh, it's hard to say, because I loved the first 100 minutes of Hereditary, basically the, the first hour and 40 minutes. You know, to me it was a psychological anguish uh, brilliantly acted uh, by the superb cast. The visuals, you know, were, were, were amazing. You know, the an atmosphere of dread and despair um, were, were big. Um, and then we get this twist to me, which was pretty a lame twist. You know, the moment Colette starts doing what she's doing, it, it kind of killed the, the movie for me. But, you know, overall, Hereditary is one of the most compelling um, horror movies to date. Um, it comes from something very awful, um, a tragedy of, you know, a young girl's death that gets very emotional without sporting too much. I spent much of the movie, you know, kind of terrified, you know? You know, the mother would break down completely and and, you know, do what she does, but um, this movie's gonna have you boiling because the first half was, was so great. And um, it was just too bad for me. They couldn't uh, make the landing. Um, but overall, I think for all the praise and as excellent as I think this movie is, Hereditary fell short of a masterpiece, despite the fact that I was very much invested and riveted through the life of the film. Um, there were obviously some detectable pacing issues. Um, I feel conflicted in saying that because I'm very much of a fan to slow burn, um, horror style um, type movies like this, you know, which benefit from the deliberate pace. Um, but I did get the occasional nagging sense that things could have been tightened up just a tad without losing that effect. Um, some of the scares in the film, often the more traditional horror moments, also struck slightly on the wrong note for me at times. Um, but I think they did a sensational job throughout the movie. You know, my first viewing, I, I think the movie was flawless. But I saw it two, three times after that, and just recently again. And, you know, you do notice some things that you don't notice on your first go-around. Um... But the majority of the film, 
I think was uh, amazing. And, you know, the ending, a few minutes of the ending, obviously the film shows its full hand when a bit more ambiguity may have been served better, but, you know, the positives um, outweigh the negatives in this film. You know, Hereditary is ultimately a remarkable, you know, debut horror film, you know, for, you know, this director who was amazing, you know. He's um, taken very seriously, especially nowadays. And, you know, at that time we were hoping to continue to see more of it, and we did, and we do. So, um, you know, I'm going to give this movie an eight and a half out of ten. Could have got closer to a ten, but that ending really, really killed me. But I'm overall very close to a masterpiece. Go check this movie out. If you like this review, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want more content from me, all you got to do is subscribe. Look forward to hearing from you. Let me know what you thought about the film. Hit me up on my Discord. Till the next one. Peace.